In the last two weeks, we prepared the rest of our 40 beds for the big planting event. We also built a gate for the market garden from scratch. The broad fork needed optimizing, the irrigation system got partly set up, and we planted the first tomatoes into the ground. We are really lucky to have so many friends joining us and helping with the whole project. Without those people, we wouldn't be able to accomplish all that. So thank you so much for being our friend and for being part of the project. Two weeks ago, we hosted a seedling party. People from the neighborhood came by to take some of our small plants and enjoy cake and coffee with us. For our market gardening, we need a gate, since we didn't build this when we were putting up the fence. As we still had some spruce beams in our lumber yard, we decided to use them. These are also not suitable for any carpentry projects, as they had some warm infestation in them already. While the base of the beams is being formed in the workshop, I cut open some beams on the outside to make bolts for the gate. Once again, we are in luck as we had a lot of helping hands. Off camera I put the gates together, since you already have seen that in our update video from the 10th week. Then it's off to our field. We use galvanized drive-in ground sleeves to put the beams in the position. And if you think our beams are a bit slanted, be assured that's just due to the camera angle. As we have to transport a lot of vegetables out of here, we wanted a better solution than unfolding the fence every time we use the tractor. So this is a massive improvement in our daily routine. Christina wanted to try using our tiller, so I showed her how to use it. I don't know, but for me it looks quite good for trying out the first time. Just remember how I had to struggle with this monster. If you want to see this again, you can look it up in the video of the 23rd week. But not everyone was that convinced as you look at Moe's and Nini's rather skeptical face. In United Forces we closed the prep for all the beds. And here's a wonderful view from above. If you want to see and hear the whole travel, I recommend you the last video.
our plants grow and grow. Here are a few examples of garlic, radish, the carrots, pak choy and rocket. Thanks to Susie, we got an old water pump to use on our land. We used it for the automatic irrigation system, which isn't yet automatic. A little protection hut was built for the pump and then we could do the setup. We installed more connectors for the main hose to have separate outlets every two bits. We will connect drip hoses later to that. As you have seen us bending our broad fork in the last video, we reinforced them with some more steel. This makes it somewhat more heavier to operate, but stopped the bending of the fork. As we have a weekend in front of us, where nearly 1000 plants have to find their way into our fields, getting this tool done was very important to us. Despite the seedling party, we still have some plants left. We planted some tomatoes into the small greenhouse that we set up some weeks ago with another bunch of cool people. <laughs> 